everybody. It's Dave from Richmond Tourism. Welcome to the uh, 1824 Pleasant View House in Battlefield Park. We're going to take a little tour, so if you want to follow me, we'll wind our way around the porch here. In case you were wondering how this house got its name, you can see the Pleasant View off the porch. Come on in and we'll take a look around. Hey all, so this is the main parlor here at Pleasant View. We have set up here for you. If you'd like to come down and do research, we do have a nice little library. You can't take anything home with you, but it's available to do genealogical and Civil War research anytime you'd like to. All right, let's walk in here and take a look around. Center room has some interpretive panels about the battle. And we also have photographs of all of our staff officers that were, were here. Those are our Confederate officers up there and we've got our Union officers over in the corner. Hey everybody, welcome to the uh, Pleasant View gift shop. And this is a very unique room because you're standing on the original 1824 floors and steps. So you're walking on the same floors that the uh, soldiers and occupants did during the battle. And here in our gift shop, we have t-shirts for sale. We have other gifts for kids, um, books, you name it, we've got it here. All right, we're gonna take a walk upstairs and check out some of the rooms up, up there. Uh, here on the wall in the front foyer, we have all of these states that had soldiers here. Um, and their units listed. Some of them are interesting, like the uh, Tennessee troops that were here. We had both Union and Confederate troops from Tennessee. Let's go upstairs and take a look. All right, so let's head into the uh, front room up here. In this room, we have several exhibits that detail um, Civil War medical history. This is the Pleasant View House was used as a field hospital during the battle. And one thing that everybody's always interested in when they come up here is the blood stains on the floor. We have had them tested and we do know that it is human blood, but we don't know conclusively that it came from the battle. One of the other items up here is we have a little exhibit on the uh, Sisters of Charity that came down to serve as nurses after the battle. We had three nuns from Cincinnati that made the trek down and nursed men in the town. All right, let's go in this other room and take a look at what we got in here. And again, you'll see period flags as you walk through. In this room, we have items devoted to civilian life during the war. And if you're able to come down um, one weekend or, or weekday, when we have our, our resident weaver here. You can uh, watch her do some weaving on this 100 plus year old loom. As I mentioned in the other room, we talk a lot about Civil War medicine here. And here we have a little exhibit of all of the Union medical staff that were here under Captain Bernard J. Irwin, who established the field hospital up the road at Mount Zion Christian Church. All right, so since we're finished in the house, why don't we head outside and I'll tell you about the walking trails in the park. Hey folks, if you've got done touring the Battle of Richmond Visitor Center and Museum and the Pleasant View House and still are interested in seeing more of the battlefield, we have about two miles of paved walking trails with interpretive signs that run all the way up to the Mount Zion Christian Church. Although I hope you'll dress a little bit better than what I am if you get out and do the walking trails in August. For more information, check out the Battle of Richmond Association's website and Facebook page or the Richmond Tourism website or Facebook page. The Pleasant View House is open with volunteers 
Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday afternoons. Check at the Visitor Center for more information. Hey folks, we're back here in the gift shop and uh, even though we missed reenactment this year, we still have our t-shirts available. So we've got some from years past, like the Major uh, General Patrick Playburn shirt, but we've added ones with William Bull Nelson and Edmund Kirby Smith. If you're interested in purchasing one, contact the Battle of Richmond Association and they'll hook you up.